Bring your attention to your breath. Notice if your stomach is moving, if your chest is moving, if you're breathing through your nose or through your mouth. And notice the qualities of your breath. Are you relaxed? Is the breath smooth? It's good to check in as we begin a practice. Our ideal breath is an even length of exhalation and inhalation. And it has no breaks or pauses. It's not jerky at all. It's just smooth and even and continuous. Mentally count the length of your in-breath. If you're breathing in to a count of three, then breathe out to a count of three. Notice how the belly rises as you breathe in. And it settles back towards the spine as you breathe out. Allow your breath to be smooth and continuous, even in length. You could stop the recording for a bit and work with this continuity of the breath and on the even breath until you're really feeling that relaxation, the flow of the breath. You breathe in about the same length as you breathe out, and there's no pauses or breaks or interruptions in the breath. There's just the turnaround at the end of the exhale, breathing in, and then letting it go. That's the pattern that we take out into daily life. So you can check back with yourself at any time. You can be standing in line somewhere. You could be sitting before you have a meal. You could be in bed before you go to sleep. Work with that pattern of breathing. You don't have to breathe a certain length. Just notice how long your inhale is and let it go into the exhale. So it's about the same length and it's smooth, effortless, and continuous. There's an extended exhalation breathing that we call two to one breathing that we would then add on once we have this primary one-to-one -one breathing established. There are several reasons we exhale longer. We don't do this on a regular everyday basis. On an everyday basis, we breathe even length, exhale and inhale. And sometimes when we're doing a breathing practice, we extend the exhalation. One of the reasons for that is that it helps us to develop a lengthier breath. The ideal sweet spot for the breath is six seconds as we're breathing out. If you're breathing into a count of three, then to work with this practice, you would start to breathe out to a count of four. Do that for a little while, count of five. Maintain the three on the inhale, and gradually work your way up to an effortless six on the exhale. The same qualities, smooth and continuous. Up to twice as long on the exhalation. We're allowing the lungs to empty out of the stale air. We're encouraging a longer breath. We're building the capacity for that. And having a longer exhalation helps us to calm our nervous system. With a six second exhalation, the relaxation response really has time to calm our body. We can relax our muscles. The mind starts to settle. Come back to this practice regularly until it's a real habit for you. Breathing even, smooth, and continuous during the day and all day long, especially before you go to sleep at night to establish that breath pattern as you move into sleep. And then once or twice a day, breathe with an extended exhale. Let your exhalation move out to six seconds. Practicing a six second exhalation for a couple of minutes a day really makes a difference in strengthening and increasing the resilience in our whole system 